Deadline the business is getting intense and Manchester United guys is so busy. Carrington is a beehive of activity and guess what? Sofian Amrabat is advancing. There is a major update coming through from David Oinstein. As we speak now, Manchester United Director of Football Negotiations, that is Matt Agrives, has flown, taken a private jet to Italy to ensure that this deal is done. The clock is ticking to the close of the transfer window. And United do want to make one more crucial signing. I'll tell you the details of Sofian Amrabat's progress to Manchester United. But first, like I told you, it's a busy day. And let's get down with business. Subscribe to the hotspot. My name is Webb. Let's get it now. It's blazing hot, baking hot. But all this heat is coming right straight to you because on the hotspot is where I get to ban you with Manchester United news. Now listen, Manchester United, like I told you yesterday, have unveiled uh, Alte Bayindi from Panabat, the short stopper, for fees believed to be around six to seven million pounds, signing now as the official number two at Manchester United, replacing Dean Henderson, who crossed over to Crystal Palace. It has been done and dusted, as you can see in that image right there. So meaning Manchester United have sorted the left back department because uh, 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 Sergio Reggio is about to be unveiled later today before the close of the window. He will be unveiled. The expectation, by the way, is he could join the squad uh, for that game against Arsenal on Sunday. So, obviously, it's very important that they do seal him as fast as they can. United agreed a long deal for him, at least until January, with Tottenham Mospas. So, that was a crucial emergency signing that was sorted. Now, United have always been linked to several goalkeepers, from Zion Suzuki, name them united have finally got their man a number two who has been there older than onana there are things a thing or two that onana can learn from him this was the number one of fanabach has kept about 53 clean sheets in over 150 appearances uh, for fanabach he's ser seriously a good goalkeeper that can seriously give and onana competition in fact i'll tell you if onana doesn't step up his game this, year, this man can actually get him on the bench. That's the competition that Eric Ten Hag has always wanted to create in all departments. Now, speaking of competition, if there is one player at Manchester United that does not have any bit of competition, it has been Casemiro. Trust you me, this guy, I think, is on a beach. He knows he's going to be always the first player in the team. Now, guess what? With a World Cup semi-finalist coming, United is certainly creating competition for Casemiro. Now, let's talk about Amrabat, who is that uh, world-class uh, midfielder who is coming in to partner Casemiro. The update from David Onsten, a credible source when it comes to transfers like this. I know Fabrizio Romano is the king, but David Onsten does not get enough credit. This guy is top as well. He has been top, broken some important signings in this window. Now, listen, he has broken it a few uh, minutes ago that uh, Matt Hargreaves, who is the director of football negotiations at Manchester United, has flown to Italy to ensure that he pushes through a move for Sofian Amra. But remember, we are told earlier on that United uh, submitted a bid of two million, around two million pounds uh, for, for, to get Amrabat on loan. But uh, uh, Fiorentina did respond. First of all, they are, uh, the ideal for them would have been United buying the player they want to sell. Remember, they rejected a bid from United earlier on in January, the, in, the, uh, in the January window. Again, United wanted Amrabat on loan, but they rejected it, saying they want to sell. Now, United is back. Of course, the conditions have not improved. United is probably more broke now. We are broker now than we were back then because of financial fair play restrictions. So, United is back with a little money, saying we want to get him on loan. But uh, Fiorentina are saying, okay, we listen. We know the player wants to join you. That's why he requested to be left out of the squad. But can you commit that you will sign him after a year now? That's where the issues have been. And that's why the talks are going back and forth. United do not want to commit that they will buy. Because look, you've got a bunch of nobodies in Harry Maguire, Donny van de Beek, all this Scott McTominay. All these players who no club, no reasonable club is flattering. And uh, you think you're going to be sure you'll get the money with financial fair play, the money to buy a player. That's the commitment United will not be willing to go into. They might be the devils, but devils that don't lie. <laughs> Hot spot. So that's the situation with Sofia and Amrabat. The conversations are ongoing. But trust you me, the fact that the player himself handed in a transfer request, he requested the club to leave him out, I'll tell you, Manchester United, I think, has got an edge in terms of this pursuit of Amrabat because the player wants them. He agreed personal terms already. He's pushing from within. He's trying to ensure that this deal does not fall through. So it should happen. And that's exactly 
what uh, they are play, uh, they are pushing for. So Sofian Amra, but United guys do relax. I think United is known for making those late signings. There is quite a number of players that United has signed on uh, the deadline day. The only issue is before the circumstances were different. United were ripped off because they had the money to spend, and on deadline day, if you make late signings, obviously you're going to you know lose money. Most so if you've got poor negotiators like the John Matters and now Matt Hargreaves, who we are learning now, who is the director of football negotiations. Negotiations. It should be the man who has who was making all the wrong negotiations, paying a lot of money for Mason Mount to solve what problem up to now. I'll wait for that answer. Uh, Eric Ten Hag saw something in Mason Mount. All of us who are not managers have not seen. Uh, let's wait and see when he comes back from injury whether we'll see it. But we thought we were ripped off by, Liver, uh, by Chelsea, rather. Uh, we were also ripped off, I feel, by Atalanta. Poor negotiations, but we hope. We hope we will forget all about the poor negotiations before. If they do go to Italy like they have, Matt Agrives goes to Italy and he returns with Sofian Amrabat. We will not care about the wrongs they have done. Trust you me, this will be a successful summer transfer window for Manchester United. But guys, uh, just uh, to just give you a bit of history, not so long ago, in the last summer, I do remember the these John Matters and... Uh, and uh, uh, Richard Arnold, the CEO, I think even Matt Hargreaves, were flying you know, in between flights. They spent more money and time between flights trying to negotiate for Dijon. If you do remember, Manchester United spent a lot of money and time in, on flights trying to negotiate for Dijon, uh, but they failed. So the fact that he flew to Italy does not guarantee that we'll get him. The issue is the talks and the negotiations and how they handle this because it is becoming increasingly difficult for Manchester United to sign players. But Amrabat has been patient since June. Guys, this has got to happen. The beauty is, like I said, the player wants out of Fiorentina. There are clubs that have been believed to be interested in him. There was, mentioning, uh, there was a talk of uh, Fulham tabling a 30 million pounds bid. Oh, I have sold a few players and got some little bit of money. So they feel they've got the wallet to come and outbid Manchester United. But Amrabat has turned down Liverpool. Uh, so many clubs have wanted him waiting for Manchester United, wanting to reunite with his former boss, that is Eric Ten Hag. So for me, there is hope that we will get this player. That is the next one. It's the focus on, forget about all the other departments. Graven Batch, Ryan Graven Batch is joining Liverpool. That's nearly done and dusted. So forget about any distractions. The focus now is on Sofian Amrabat and there is significant progress. But there's also a report I uh, saw somewhere, a minor report suggesting that United actually had tabled a 30 million euros bid for Amrabat. Now, hmm. That would be surprising because we do know for a fact we don't have that kind of money. There is no money. The reason we did not sign our preferred left back uh, in this emergency is because we did not have money partly. But of course also Chelsea refusing to agree uh, to our terms of cancelling the contract in January. But the fact is United, I don't think United has that kind of money now. Unless they are sure they have gone to sell a player. But which player? None of our, you know, rejects is uh, even flattered by a Saudi club. These clubs that buy left or anyone, left, right and center. If they saw me, I'm sure they would bid for me. But somehow they can't, they can't bid for Scott McTominay or Harry Maguire. Man, how terrible are these boys? This is this United. Anyhow, the last bit, guys, uh, I, I thought I, 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 I needed to end with the bad news. I always don't love ending on a sad note. But guess what, guys? The sad note, the sad bit is that Manchester United might be stuck with Scott McTominay and more painfully, Harry Maguire. Why? <laughs> the guy wants to earn his 200k. As stipulated in his contract, when we return to the Champions League, he should be earning 200k. And he saw the, 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 the draw and saw the group United is in. Guys, Bayern, Galatasaray and Copenhagen, you will feel like I have to be there and enjoy my 200k per week. Guys, painful. Subscribe, hotspot. My name is Webb. They are burnt you with the news, but trust you me, I've been burnt by this hot sun. I'll catch you later. Peace, love and harmony.